A Vox 5 I team investigation has found that some fire departments in Metro Atlanta now charge insurance companies and sometimes individuals for cleanup after car accidents. It's a new money making trend for local governments that the insurance commissioner calls double dipping. Daniel Fowl has this I team investigation. A Powder Springs man got one of those bills after his son's single car accident. He was charged nearly $1,400 for the cleanup, but that wasn't the only surprise that we found. We looked at the call log from that night and found that more than one group was there for cleanup. Last December, Late at night, Frederick Turner's son fell asleep at the wheel after a long day in his first job out of college. It was just overworked, less sleep. The accident photos show the car went off this Lumpkin County Road, hit a tree, landing back on the highway. The single car accident left some debris outside of the car door and here in the wooded area. And of course, there appears to be a trail of fluids. He received some uh, some care on the scene, I guess, uh, just, you know, might have looked abrasion above his eye, but he went to the hospital. In the end, his son had some minor injuries, and then they predictably, the bills issues. showed up. The hospital bill wasn't that much. The tow truck tab wasn't bad either. 175 for the towing. But more than two months later, an unexpected bill came. The fire department has sent an invoice for cleanup. That's correct. How much are we looking at here? That's almost $1,400. Through a third-party billing company called Fire Recovery USA, the Lumpkin County Fire Department charged Turner more than $400 an hour to restore the scene to a non-hazardous condition. That surprised Mr. Turner because not only was it a bill from a fire department, he'd already paid for cleanup once. So the tow truck driver says he cleaned up. That's correct. For 50 bucks. That's correct. Right there it is, 50 bucks. And they even put the word, he did an excessive cleanup. And sweeping. And sweeping. Because he put down an absorbent for the oil spots and antifreeze. So he did all of that for $50. So he did that. He did that. Well, they can send a bill, but the consumer does not have to pay it. Insurance Commissioner Ralph Hudgens was surprised to hear that our Fox 5 I-Team investigation uncovered a new money-making trend to use this third-party billing company by not just Lumpkin County, but also Hall and Clayton counties, as well as College Park, East Point, and Union City. The commissioner says he considers it a case of double dipping, and he wants to make it clear. You do not have to pay this bill. They're already being paid for it with the premium tax that we send them. The premium tax is paid by your insurance company. The money collected goes to local governments. State records show last year alone, Lumpkin County received $1.3 million earmarked for services like fire protection. Is there any reason the fire department should be getting an additional $1,400 for cleanup? No, I mean, I just, I'll just tell you no. The call log from the accident that night shows there wasn't just the tow truck operator and the fire department cleaning up. A county road crew also showed up, but they did not bill Mr. Turner. Over in College Park, the fire chief there says yes, it also bills for accident cleanup, but with restrictions like only billing insurance companies, never the driver. Chief Wade Elmore hears the double dipping argument about the premium tax, but the premium tax money that goes to local governments is based on population. Our residential population is around 14 to 15,000, but we have a daytime population of around 300,000 because of the hotels and because of the airport and because of the car rental facility that's here. And College Park doesn't charge its own citizens, just drivers passing through. We only bill non-residents. Um, on car accidents, car fires, uh, maybe some hazmat calls. Much different than Lumpkin County system where the county manager says they do charge the locals when their fire department cleans up the accident scene. I think they're trying to take advantage of consumers. Now, is this whole thing a money maker? Well, it depends. For instance, Hall County did make some money, more than $153,000 in a single year, while East Point, according to their records, makes a year less than $4,000. Lumpkin County, the county we've been following, according to their records, has made $34,000 a year.
Dana Fowl, Fox 5 News.